Hello guys and welcome to part 2 of my tutorial uh, launch on Wolfpack. Um, I did say in previous videos that what I'll do is I will do a little bit of history on each of the subs. Um, we did the, the U96 uh, on the last video so we're going to do the 552 on this video. Um, I've, I've read quite an interesting bit about it, I thought I'd mention this. Um, so anyway, the, the, this, the U552 was launched um, September the 14th 1940 if I remember correctly let me just make sure I got that right yep I was right <laughs> um, but there's a bit here that I read just now um, it's quite an interesting uh, paragraph um, I'm gonna read it out to you because uh, you can always I'll, I'll link the uh, the information to in the description of the video once I've finished but um, it says here on the 31st of October 1941, the USS Reuben James, I think that's it, Reuben James, sorry, was one of the five destroyers escorting a convoy HX156, which you can click in the video and you can see more information about that. Um, was close to the coast of Iceland, about 600 nautical miles west of the island. The Reuben James had just begun turning to investigate a strong directional finding bearing when a torpedo launched from the U-552 struck her port side and caused an explosion in her forward magazine. The entire bow section of the destroyer was blown off as far back as the fort funnel. So that's quite an impressive explosion and, and sunk immediately. The stain remained afloat for about five minutes before sinking unsecured depths um, and continued to explode um, and killing survivors in the water. Um, 115 of of her 160 me man crew was killed, including all the officers. The destroyer was the first U.S. Navy warship to be sunk in World War Two. So, just a little bit of interesting uh, information there. Uh, I don't know if that means anything, but I quite I find that quite interesting. So, anyway, guys, uh, let's get on with our tutorial and uh, let's move on so we're going to take the the u552 and we're going to go to our dive officer because we're going to do a bit of diving in this uh, episode so anyway guys when you start the game you will spawn as a dive officer at the back um, of the submarine where um, our village pump is and uh, compressor and our aft ballast tanks uh, valve is located so we're on the sub we're on the surface right now we're full stop um, and the captain has ordered us to go to a periscope depth which is really simple um, what I'll do is I'll explain each of the systems first before you know we, we try something out so um, to start with we'll start with the dive planes which are really easy to use um, you've got two uh, indicators in the middle here uh, the one with the red line in it is basically tells you your depth. It makes it easier to, to know if you when you're at periscope depth and um, little bits like that. Um, the other one is basically um, a depth meter on the other side. You've also got um, a depth meter here which will give you increments um, from 0 to 25 meters and you've also got a deeper one here which goes from 0 to 200 meters. Um, so with the dive planes it's really simple you'll click the controls you've got A and D which will control the left hand plane and the arrow keys left and right will control the right hand plane so nice and simple nothing really technical on that side um, next to that these will only, oh sorry just to mention these will only work if we're in motion um, otherwise they're, they're not no good they won't um, make a difference to um, as diving or um, coming back to the surface or evil you know uh, going up and down in the water it won't make a difference while the, while the sub's not moving um, the next one is our um, village tank pressor, uh, pressure, pressure valve I'll get it right um, basically once we've flooded the aft and forward ballast tanks these will go up to 50 on the indicators on the on the left and right here and uh, the middle bit is how much compressed air we have remaining and we can use this dial 
in the middle here which we can click and use your mouse left and right to open and close close a tank which will let more air into the ballast tanks so it's good for <clears throat> to help the sub um, come back to the surface uh, and you know you're putting more air into your tank so you're going to float quicker up to the surface uh, next on on here we've got a trim tank um, as you can see at the moment we're up and down on the waves so it's going to move a little bit um, but when we're underwater if we want to stay at a perfect level all the time we use the trim so it's a bit like um, an aircraft trim you know when you want to stay level in the in the sky you'll set your trim to, to keep the plane level um, it works exactly the same on the sub um, the only times you'll really need to change this is when you do your first dive uh, so you go down to your periscope depth you'll set your trim up you won't have to touch it again until a torpedo is fired because that will make a difference to the weight of the sub so you'll need to retrim and reset your trim on there and last but not least is your negative pressure valve um, basically it's, it's like an emergency dive system um, you can use this to submerge a lot quicker by increasing um, the amount of water you put into your sub which you can see on, on the negative tank I've just put a little bit of water in there and you can pump it back out by using the other one and again you've got another indicator there that shows you your air pressure so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to periscope depth so the first thing we want to do is open the forward ballast tanks which are located right next to the helm control so we open up this one and you can start airing water flushing in and then we're going to go to the rear of the sub where our aft ballast tanks are located and we'll open open them so as we go back to the indicator on the ballast, uh, ballast tank pressure valve you can see that these are now increasing in the amount of water that's off into the uh, tank so these are in uh, meter squared of water so when it gets to 50 it's got 50 meter squared of water in each tank so once it gets up <coughs> just takes a minute so if we listen out as soon as this hits 50 you'll have a little punt or a, a bump there you go we just have a little bump so that's saying that the tanks are full so now we can close these tanks so we close that one and we close the aft because these are now full of water so we don't want the water to escape so now as you can see if we look at this dial we're slowly submerging we just got over 10 meters now if for periscope depth we want to be down to about 12 meters so it is quite it is quite a slow thing but we can help this as you can see our trim was slowly submerging very very slowly so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water into it and as you can see we're increasing the speed of sinking <coughs> for the trim tank what we want to do is we want to open up and put a little bit more air into the into the tank just to slow that needle down until it stops so as you can see that's not a bad trim it's holding holding just there as you can see on the indicator so now we are level and we're at periscope depth which is about 11.5 to 12 meters we can go a little bit deeper because the, paris uh, the attack periscope can go a lot more um, deeper we can go up to about 13 meters um, I had a point made out in one of my last videos uh, that I haven't mentioned about the observation periscope <laughs> which I've walked past about 10 times since I'm doing the videos um, the lever to activate it is just here next to the navigational map we can click that and that will bring up our observation periscope which I didn't show in the other tutorials but I'll show it quickly in here so as you can see we're just above the top of the water right now so we're at periscope depth and we're not sinking we're not submerging <coughs> so as you can see we're not we're not sinking any more than what we was before we can always go back and check and make sure that we're not this needle uh, sorry the needle on the right hand side is not dropping or regaining so we are perfectly level underwater so what we'll do now is um, we want to take a slow descent so what we're going to do is we're going to increase um, our speed so we're going to switch to electric engines because they're underwater so we can't use diesel and we're just going to go ahead full speed just for this demonstration so as you can see our speed will start increasing in a second any minute there we go okay so now we're submerged we can travel around underwater 
and we want to dive a little bit further so what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the dive planes and we're going to increase these to go into a dive so we're going to put them into a dive position as you can see the sub starts tilting so you know that you're going down and this indicator will give us um, how much of an angle we're diving at so as you can see now we are diving down to 14 and it's increasing we can also look on here if we want to that we're coming up to about 20 meters soon and on here we're just passing 17 meters and we're still sinking and then we can level out once we get so far by setting our dive planes back to zero and once we're at zero she'll level out and then hopefully we won't descend any more than that so we'll level that at 24 meters roughly and if we look at a trim it's still going down slightly but we haven't quite stopped yeah we're good so now we, you know we're a little bit deeper now so if we look through the periscope now we're not going to see a thing <coughs> so because we're we're underwater now so um, we come around to zero sometimes you can just make out the front of the ship but we're a bit deep so it's a bit dark out there so what we'll do now if we wanted to come back to the surface we can uh, come back up to periscope depth by using the dive planes or if we just wanted to surface we can we can use the uh, village tanks and we can drop all that water out of there and push a load of air into the tank and that will bring us back up to the surface so as you can see I've opened the, the valve and we're slowly creeping back up to the surface and we're about to hit the surface now get rid of all the water out of the tanks and we're surfaced so now we're back on the water with some telescope on there we go and as you can see we're now back up on the surface and there's a ship over there <laughs> okay so the next thing that's just basically explaining how to to dive lower um, how to set your trim um, and i've explained that once once we're We've submerged, we can set a trim up and we won't need to touch it again, and that'll keep us um, at the same length, the same depth all the time until a torpedo is fired. Then you, you you will have to change your trim slightly because it will because you took out some weight, the sub's automatically going to want to try and surface. So, after we've done a dive, we've gone back up to the surface, we're going to switch back to diesel engines, and then the captain will order us to go whatever speed, and our engines will kick in at the back here. As you notice we use some air to get up. We want to keep the compressed air just at the top of the green line which will be brilliant. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick on the compressor and as you can see it is slowly increasing and we'll get this back up to um, just over 200. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's on the PSI isn't it? or is it kilos and centimeter squared or something I don't know. So we just wait for this to go back up. So you see we just passed 200 but for this purposes we're going to turn it off for now and at the moment we're back on the surface we've redone our air tank so we're back to full again. So anyway we're getting close to an enemy uh, and we've been spotted so the captain's going to order us to go into emergency dive. So what we're going to do is we're going to, you'll have more, more than one crew makes it easier to do this but you'll open your forward tanks and you'll open your rear tanks and at the same time the helmsman will then switch to electric engines ready for us to dive so we're going to go down into electric engines, we're going to go into slow speed And then we want to get down a lot further. We want to try and get out of the way of these sub, uh, these destroyers that are coming after us. So we're going to flood our negative tank all the way around to 4.5. And then we're going to switch our dive planes into dive. And as you can see, we are dropping really, really quick. So let me just... Uh, yeah, we're okay. So we want to check as well, I mean you wouldn't use this while you're getting um, pinged by an enemy ship but we can check the depth under, underneath. 
we can turn this dial here and click the button and as you can see the, the top needle moves so we can't go any lower than on just to under 100 meters because we'll hit the bottom of the ocean so we know we know that we can't go down we can probably go down to about 90 on the depth um, so we don't get detected from any destroyer we need to be really down at about 160 meters um, to, to stop us from getting detected but we can't do that because we're in shallow water so we have to just do our best to be quiet underwater um, and just uh, carry on diving to whatever depth we can so once we got down to our depth what we'll do is we'll, we'll take out the water out our negative tank so we can start leveling off which takes a little while I mean when we're, we're a lot deeper it takes a little bit longer for to, to push that water out of the negative tank because you know there's pressure of the water underneath us so we need more air to push it out and things like that so so let's just get this down to zero okay so we can close that valve off and then we can level our planes off and there we go we're down at a depth of 82 meters roughly we are falling slightly as you can see this needle's now gone to its max um, because we've gone past that so we'll then read this this needle to let us know once this line the blue line is met the black line it means we're, we're, the sub is level we're quite level now so uh, we shouldn't submerge we can check this indicator as you can see it's not moving so that's good so now you know we're submerged deep underwater and again we can then come back to the surface we can uh, increase our dive planes and we can start coming back up to the surface and if we want to come up a little bit faster what we'll do is um, we'll open this tank a little bit to get some air into the tank so that you can see it drains it very quickly but this is the quickest way to to um, surface if we need to do an emergency surface or anything like that which it does take a little while as you can see it's it's trying to push the pressure and we should be raising we are very slowly there you go you can see it just moving slightly it takes a little while to surface um, but if we increase our speed we'll surface a lot faster as well I forgot about that bit <laughs> so we're slowly slowly surfacing we're just coming past there now so while, while this sub servicing what I'll do is I'll just quickly go down to the back and just show you uh, the village pump when we go to a depth of uh, 150 meters we're going to take on water whether we've got holes on you know we've been damaged or not um, that's just because you the subs are not 100% sealed so we're going to take on a little bit of water not a great deal but when we put water taken on um, we are going to be heavier so we're going to start sinking so we're going to need to use the bilge pump to pump out any little bit of water that's left in here which will then be indicated on the bilge level here and we can pump that out by just uh, clicking the pump and that will pump that water out and make sure that we haven't got any water on board so as you can see we are surfacing very nicely it's a lot more faster when we've got a bit more speed uh, to surface um, I think that's everything I've really covered on on diving and um, and things. I don't think there's much else we can we can really cover on that. I've showed you how to use negative tank to get down quick, uh, how to use the ballast tank pressure valves, um, which when we get to a certain level we are going to have to empty them out and put air back into the tanks. Uh, I've showed you how to do a trim. So basically that is really it, and I've, I've mentioned about the uh, observation periscope which I did in the last video which 
in the introduction video I forgot I missed that bit out but we've got it there anyway so guys that's all I can really show you we're about to come back up to surface now so we're going to put our dive planes back to zero we're just slightly going to be popping out the top of the water because we need to empty the water that we've got on borders we'll just get rid of the water and just get air back in our tanks and as you can see we're just uh, still rising a little bit oh wait a minute, I know why we've got a problem here because I don't close the tank if you don't close your ballast tanks um, air is just going to go straight out it's not going to go anywhere and that's the reason why I couldn't surface quick earlier, that was my fault there we go, you can hear the air going in there really quick now my mistake At least I've demonstrated if you don't close end tanks what happens that you can't get the air out and you're going to lose all your air in your tank. So anyway, we're fully serviced again and then what we're going to do is we're going to switch on our compressor and we're going to get that air back up which, you know, we lost quite a bit and then by then the almsman would have switched back to our diesel engines and gone back to our speed. As simple as that. As you can see, our battery took some drainage so like I showed you in the Hellman video, we can click charge batteries and as you can see it will slowly start charging in a minute, there you go, you can see it's slowly creeping up there and uh, that is it guys, I don't think there's anything else I missed on doing diving and you just remember to close your tanks after you filled them, um, which I forgot uh, and we've covered each of the sections, so I can't think of anything else we can cover um, I'd like to say thank you to people that supported the videos, I've had a couple of comments um, on regards to the quality of the video, it was quite a low quality on the last couple, so hopefully um, when I do the editing of this video I will increase the quality to make it so much nicer for you guys to watch. Um, and we'll probably on the next video we're going to try and cover how to use the um, hydrophone and we're going to get rid of the simple radio man and I'll show you how to use the uh, transmitter and the Enigma code and Morse code. I'm quite, I'm not very good at Morse code but I'll get through it just to give you guys an idea of how it all works. So thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you uh, tomorrow in our next video. Thank you very much and good night.